Hi everyone! In this video, we will see how we can create a velvet material using V-Ray in 3ds Max. Before creating a material, it is helpful to look first at some reference photos to see what the attributes of the material are, in order to replicate them in our software. Here is the image I'm using as a reference to create a base velvet. And here is one more. So, what are the attributes? It mainly consists of two different hues of the same color, a lighter and a darker base, and they get mixed together in the random pattern we see in the photo. Moreover, velvet is soft and it has some sheen. Let's put this information in 3ds Max. If you want to download the scene I'm using, I have added the link in this video description. Open the Material Editor. Right-click in the Active View and choose Materials V-Ray V-Ray MPL. Rename it to Light Beige. Right-click in the Active View and choose Maps V-Ray V-Ray Bitmap. Connect the V-Ray Bitmap node to the Diffuse Map. Double-click on the V-Ray Bitmap node to open its parameters, go to the Parameters rollout and click on the three dots button to select a texture. I will use the below one, but you can use any light base texture. I will also apply a texture to the bump map to give depth height to the fabric. So far, we have created a light base fabric. If we apply this to our sofa and produce a render, we will get this result. But at the beginning of the video, we said that to make a velvet, we need to have two different hues of the same color. So now we need to create the second one. Select the material, press Shift and drag to make a copy. And we want this copy to become darker. How are we going to achieve that? We will add a color correction. Right click in the active view and go Maps, General, Color Correction. Connect the color correction to the diffuse map and the V-Ray bitmap to the color correction. What does color correction do? It allows us to adjust the color of a texture. It is like we open the texture in Photoshop and adjust its properties. Double click on color correction to see its settings. Go to the brightness and set it to minus 30. So now we have created two same fabrics with two different hues and we want to combine the two to one single material. How can we combine two materials? Right click in the active view and choose materials V-Ray, V-Ray blend material. As its name states, this material type blends two or more materials. Connect the first material to the base and the second material to the coat one. And apply this V-Ray blend material to the sofa. Double click on the V-Ray blend material node to see its parameters. How does V-Ray blend material work? It blends 50% of the base material and 50% of the coat material. The percentage is set through this color. If we make it black, the base material gets 100% and the coat material 0%, so we only see the base material. If we make it white, then only the coat material is visible. At 128, we have the 50%. And we can scroll up or down on the whiteness section to set the desired blend amount. If we see again the reference image, what we want to do is to blend the two materials using a pattern. 
I did some research on the web and this black and white image resembles the pattern we see in the reference photo. How do we use this? Go to the material editor, double click on the very blend material to open its parameters and next to the code material we see this no map button. Click on it and choose V-Ray bitmap. Select the black and white texture that fits the pattern you are after. Where it sees black, it applies the base material, and where it sees white, it applies the coat material. Select the black and white image node and hit on the source edit material in viewport to see how it applies on your object and if necessary, add a UVW map. If we now render, we will get this result. So now, we see both finishes on the sofa and they blend based on the pattern texture we applied. The difference between the two finishes is too prominent so we can go to the second material, the coat material, and change the brightness to minus 15%. Let's render one more time. And now it's perfect, we have the feeling of a velvet material. If we also want to give it some scene, we can add a texture to the reflection map. Let me highlight one more time that to blend two materials we need to use a black and white image, not a grayscale texture. For instance, the grayscale texture we used in the reflection map also resembles the velvet pattern. If we add this texture to the blend one map, and render we get this result, which no longer has the velvet effect, so be careful to use a black and white image. That's all on how to make a velvet material in 3ds Max and V-Ray. Thanks for watching, I will see you all in my next video.